Um, our next uh, storyteller from the Page to Stage class is Barbara Falconer Newhall. Thank you, Jeff. And Jeff's is a wonderful class, by the way. You might want to try it next term. <laughs> when my daughter, Christina, was about eight years old, I opened the newspaper one morning, and there was a full-page ad for something called shapewear. Well, I know a girl when I see one. I lived through the 50s and 60s. I wore girdles as a young, hot woman, and stopped wearing them in the 70s when I joined the women's movement and haven't worn one since. So my daughter was sitting across the table from me, and I thought, I've got to warn her against this girdle thing, this impressive, ridiculous girdle. So I popped the kids into the car and dropped my son off at a, at a friend's house, and the two of us, Christine and I, drove out to the department store, just us girls, and there in the lingerie department, I found something called a, a flexi sharpie. And it was, it was the most massive stretch of spandex I've seen in my life. It was designed to go from just above the knee to just below the bust line. So I grabbed one off the rack, took my daughter and the, the flexi stretchy and into the uh, fitting room and sat her down. And I began to put this thing on. Well, there's an art to putting, a science to putting on a girl. So you put one foot in at a time. You start and then you pull it up a little bit, and then you put the other foot in and you pull it up a little bit, and then you pull up the other side and the other side and then the back, just a little at a time, don't want to get ahead of yourself. And finally, <laughs> around your waist, what you have is a trembling mass of tissue. And so you tuck that tissue down and you take that last bit of girl and you snap it closed. <laughs> Spandex rules. Your body is now tamed. So I, I, I looked at Christina and I, I said, what do you think, Christina? How do I look? And she said, well, Mommy, you look really good on the bottom, but on top, it looks a little weird. It looks like raw chicken meat. <laughs> I like you better when you be yourself. Aww. Yes, yes, the lesson has been learned. My daughter will not grow up to be a woman who wears those oppressive, ridiculous girls. Uh, I'm a great mother and I'm a really good feminist. Well, there I was standing in that girdle and, and it had been decades since I'd last worn a girdle and my girdle memories start coming back to me. <laughs> First of all, if the girdle is too tight and there's a meal involved, you're likely to get stomach cramps. And secondly, there's something I call the girdle burn. The spandex, when you sit down, the fibers pull apart. And rip your skin. And then when you stand up, of course they close up. And you've got girl burn. <laughs> and there's something else. And it's called what I call the chastity belt effect. Any woman who has spent five or ten minutes pulling on one of these ridiculous garments is going to think twice before she takes it off. <laughs> so, Fast forward 20 years. My daughter is now 28 years old, and a few weeks ago, I called her up. I wanted to know, I wonder if she remembers the girdle lesson, and sure enough, she did. And she said, you know, do you remember it? And I said, she said, yes, Mom, but they don't call them girdles anymore, and they don't call them shapewear. They're called Spanx. <laughs> And girdle technology has changed a lot. There's no such thing as girdle burn anymore. And I thought, well, how does she know this? So I asked her, you know, Christina, you don't wear a girdle, do you? She said, well, Mom, I do. If you're a powerful, smart, intelligent woman, you want to take care of your appearance. And so, yes, you wear one when you want to look fabulous. Okay, so girdle technology has changed, the rhetoric around girdles has changed, but we women, we haven't changed a bit. <laughs> we still want to look fabulous, even if it means looking a little ridiculous in the process. Now, as for my daughter's experience of the chastity belt effect, I didn't ask. <laughs>